Good enough. Uh, get, get your head out of the way. Now, we've got Leo in his little um, buoyancy vest. Five, six, no, but he's not on the screen. There he is. Quit you, starting you've got to actually put him on the screen. Come on. What are we doing now? We're going to do the last one. We've is got Leo in his buoyancy vest. Yeah. And then we, um, the one person sits at the back. Oh, on the and back end of the donkey. One person sits at the back and works his back legs in a in a walking motion. The other person at the front walks his front legs at the same time in a walking motion. And you do it for one minute, one minute rest, two minutes, two minutes rest, three minutes, three minutes rest, two minutes, two minutes rest, one minute, one minute rest. Okay, we'll show you how to do it. Hold him on the joints. Hold his little joints out so that his the pads of his feet are actually walking along the bottom of the bathtub. Walking gently, don't make it too fast because you're trying to give him a proper walking motion, building up all the muscles as he would if he were naturally walking. It's important you do this because if you don't, his muscles will waste away and when his nerve endings repair, he won't be strong enough to stand on his own feet if you don't do this at least once a day in the water. And if possible, do it three to four times a day um, out of the water if you've got some means of supporting him. He can lie on his side and just um, move his legs, but be very careful because they're highly sensitive. They do still feel pain even though they're paralysed. <laughs>